Hey. Yeah. What's going on today? Have you been working on the van? No. Just chilling. Yep. Well, let's go check it out anyways. I have been doing some work on the van. I got my Resolve EV kit. So this is going to resolve my issues with the charging system. <laughs> so I've already pulled the Thunderstruck VCM. I'll show you that. Here's, uh, I'll bring it over. So this really impresses me. I show this to everyone that that is the entire wiring harness for my electric van, or it was till I pulled it out. But that's it. There's more wires in the fuel injection system in the last car I built than that, and that's that's it. That's brake pedal, uh, gear selector, throttle wires, uh, CAN bus wires, everything. That's it. And then there's the there's the Thunderstruck VCM. I think I already have a plan for this for another project we'll see how that turns out I got something in mind so this will not go to waste and then I didn't use the the uh, pre-charger coil and the contactor coil because I was using the ones that are already in the Nissan Leaf battery so that is that's a complete kit that I will use for something else not to waste but well, we've moved on basically for less than the price of a charger or any other route uh, it cost me to get into this so now that opens up hopefully my ability to use my charger and uh, everything else the same as that thunderstruck so I've I put a little bit of time into wiring this I've got oh, what I got here terrible hand and can't really see it uh, radiator fan main power and brake lights my van doesn't have a reverse light. Hey? Yeah? What are you telling me? Okay. So I don't really have reverse lights, so I'm not worried about that right now. Maybe add that later. There's a little screen. The instructions say you're supposed to keep the screen as close as you can to this. So I'm going to put that underneath my dash, kind of right, right under the steering wheel. And then I can stick that up in my gauge cluster replace one of the gauges whichever I choose so that's my that's my Resolve EV I'm excited about that so it's about ready to go in I figured I'd make this video before I install it and make it harder to see uh, then I have put in my radiator it's a uh, smart car radiator I've got it it's just got water in it right now topped up I ran it last night for a bunch with the pump on it and it's circulated good no leaks I'm happy so this isn't I know the nicest most permanent <laughs> method but this is gonna get me by while I get my first set of miles on it and learn one day we'll make this all tidy and rad but for now I'm just scabbing it together so here's my here's my uh, angle iron angle iron mount just mount on there and oh can you see oh yeah kind of underneath there I just used the, this slipped into the plastic pretty nice so anyways slip that on there it's rigid then underneath I got the light turned on already oh, there it is there's the water pump so it's at the bottom of the whole system and uh, it's already primed and it's circulated good so I'm happy I played with the wires, figured out which was which, and I'm basically ready to wire it. So, water pumps in, radiators in, the Resolve EV apparently will control the radiator fan, so that's good. I'm hoping, I'm hoping I can uh, change the direction either way so I can make a pull. Really, I don't care either way, but if I make a pull, then it'll be pulling the hot air and pushing around in the van for now. And, uh, yeah. That's uh that's the progress I've made so far.
since I saw, talked to you last. And you? What have you been doing? Just the usual? Well, thanks for watching. I'll uh, keep you updated when I make some more progress. See you next time.